Well, in a previous video, we talked about these. We talked about capacitors, and we basically went over what they do. We said that they store and then they release energy. Because they store and release energy, they create a slight time delay, which gives us almost like a second phase out on the system. So typically you would have the sine wave like this, and because of the capacitor, and this is the way I like to explain it because it, you know, I just want you to understand this, the capacitor is going to give us something that looks like this. Now it gives us basically a second phase on there. So when we have our compressor or our motor, whatever, we have the run winding, we have the start winding, we said that the capacitor is always going to feed the start winding. The capacitor always feeds the start winding and the same line that feeds the run winding, let's say for example in this case L2, same line that feeds the run winding is going to feed your capacitor. That's what's feeding the capacitor. If you miswire it then it's not going to run because you're not going to get the correct effect. Now this capacitor Let's say that this capacitor needs to be a 35 microfarad capacitor, okay? But we don't have a 35 microfarad capacitor. So what we will have to do is we will have to come to this line, L2, because this is the line that's feeding the run winding. We're going to come like this. Here's L2. And we're going to, let's say, split this up and we're going to have a capacitor here that is going to be let's say 20 microfarads like this 20 microfarads now at the same time let's say that on this one here this capacitor happens to be 10 microfarads now the compressor calls for 35 microfarads because it calls for 35 microfarads, we need 35 microfarads. So 10 plus, plus 20, that's, that gives us a total of 30. So then we look for another capacitor, and this one has to be a 5 microfarad capacitor. Now we have L2, because this is what's going to come out and feed the run winding. This is going to feed the run winding. And all of these capacitors, they're going to be hooked up together. Once we hook them up together, then these are going to go and feed the start winding because the capacitors always feed the start winding. So the same line that feeds the run winding feeds the capacitors, and the capacitor feeds the start winding. Now this is an example of what you can do, of what you can do if you don't have the correct capacitor like this 35 microfarad. But this is a schematic of it. Let me go ahead and get rid of this. Now, the reason I wanted to get rid of that was because this is what it would look like on a drawing, but what will it look like in real life? In real life, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have, let's say L2 coming in like this, and that is going to be feeding a run winding on the compressor or the fan motor. This is common going to L1 and this is going to be start. We said that the capacitors always feed the start winding. We also said the same line that feeds the run winding is going to come out and is going to feed the capacitor. So here what we have is we have first we had a 20 microfarad capacitor so we're going to come off of here and go to this capacitor right here like this. And then, this is going to be R20. From here, this same one is going to come out and is going to feed another capacitor. And this capacitor is going to be our 10 microfarad capacitor, like this. And then this one here is going to go to another capacitor, like this. And we said this one was going to be our 5. So we have 20, 30, 35 microfarad capacitors and all of these we can hook up together with a wire nut so we just put a wire nut right here 
and then from this wire nut we can go straight on up here. So what we did is we hooked up all of these capacitors in parallel, in parallel. So we're feeding power here. This is putting out 20, this is putting out 10, this one's putting out five. Here, the same line that feeds the run winding is gonna feed the capacitors. This one's putting out 20, this one's putting out 10, and this one's putting out five. We, we come out of it with a wire from the wire nut to the start winding, and now we have a total of 35 microfarad capacitors right there. So this is really all that we're doing. We're hooking the capacitors up in parallel to get the proper microfarads. Because remember, the microfarads represents an amount of electrons. So now we're feeding these many electrons here, these many here, and these many here, totaling what we really, really need so that we can get the start winding going like it's supposed to. How many capacitors can you have hooked up in parallel? As many as you need to come up with a correct number right here. The only problem is, remember, the more you have, the uglier it's gonna look. So we don't wanna do that. If at all possible, we want to replace it with what? <laughs> we wanna replace it with a 35 microfarad capacitor and not have this mess out there. But this will get it going, this will get you out of a jam, and this will definitely work. I hope this helped. Again, my name is Julio, and I'm with Aircon Academy. You go ahead and please join my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any suggestions, any questions about any of this, any videos that you would like to see, please let me know. Thank you.